I don't know why. This song, I want to dance. And the next one, do you know how it works? So it's time to start the third part of this series of probably, maybe, only what's it gonna be then? Uh, six more parts? Is that it? Is that it? I think it is. Uh, we've done 6,000 kilometers in, in two first parts. So that's two, four, seven. No, it's eight. Eight more. Eight more. Hopefully, only, possibly, only eight more parts to this before we have completed the entire hole, which is amazing. I honestly never thought that would be possible. But it might be. Let's see what happens. 24,000 kilometers to go. I think we will be able to do another 3,000 today. With a little bit of luck. Do, 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 do. Oh god, I can't sing today. Nope, nope. The voice is completely gone. I'm gonna shut up. See you guys soon. Got talent, right? <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get, let's get started, shall we?
Hi guys and welcome to part 3 of our world's longest haul currently in Russia, still in Russia. Where's the game? Come on! There it is. Why is that always so late? Anyway, here we are. Still in Russia. Uh, still 26,000 kilometers from our target. But I mean, we started out just... Was it yesterday really? It was just yesterday. Thank you, MWAMS. I appreciate it. Uh, it was just yesterday, and boom, I have 6,000 kilometers already. I hope you, by the way, enjoyed the, um, or appreciate that I have now made those notifications a little bit smaller on the screen there. Uh, just to make sure they are not that annoying. Hopefully, you're going to be happy with that. Let me know what you think. Uh, I could always make them smaller, I guess, if required. And, oh, that's why. Korea, thank you very much for gifting that to MWAMS. Uh, welcome, by the way, to Korea, to MWAMS, uh, to Toby, to Olaf, uh, to Wig, Thanos, uh, who else is there? Ghost Rider, Super Rabbit, uh, Absurd, uh, Things I Can Sing, that's absurd. Uh, and everyone else, Richard, and everyone else who is here, thank you so much for being here. Let's have a look at the map, see where we are. Uh, currently, we're in, and we're gonna completely ruin the name here, uh, Oblopika. Oblopika. Uh, and we started yesterday in Vladivostok. We made it all the way up here just yesterday in six hours. Uh, which I'm very happy with, and I do hope we can make it all the way to somewhere between Omsk and Kurgan today. And tomorrow we might even make it to Moscow. Uh, with a little bit of luck. Then on, I guess that would be then New Year's Eve, perhaps. We are going to be in Calais, and hopefully on to EAA already. Which is way faster than I thought we were, was going to be able to do it. Um, uh, you're crazy, Thanos. The intro wasn't any longer than it usually is. It's the same intro I've been using for a very long time. And I know I need to update it. I really need to update it. I will do that. Uh, it's only five minutes to six. Uh, so I should probably wait another six minutes uh, before we start. Um, we have a 47 ton transformer behind the bunkers big. Uh, torpedo, of course, it's as big as I possibly could make it to cab because I'm going to spend a lot of time in there, so need a bag, sleeping quarter. <laughs> yeah, I guess you are crazy, Thanos. <laughs> Nico, uh, why do I always feature Eastern Express? Uh, Nico, the, the, the point of this haul isn't to feature Eastern Express, the point of this haul is to make the longest haul I possibly can make. Uh, I have done one video of this version of Eastern Express and yes I am using it for this long haul but other than that I'm not really using it. And there we go. Richard got it as a gift today. You have wonderful friends Richard. <laughs> uh, yes this is very much single player. Uh, and absolutely is this a mod. Uh, let's have a look at the map again because we still have a couple of minutes to kill. Uh, Kev, thank you very much for following me on Twitch, by the way. Uh, here it is. This is Eastern Express. Um, and somewhere around here. Uh, Messi, thank you as well for following me on Twitch. Uh, so it's it's pretty big and it is the reason I'm using it. The other option would, of course, have been to use Ross once again, but this is the third year in a row that we do these longest hauls things, and two other times I have used Ross, so it felt kind of nice to use Eastern Express this time. Uh, no pro mods here, it's just Eastern Express and EAA. That's it. Uh, I'm glad that uh, Punkito's combo with Balkans 5.0 is working. I saw that he was using 28 map mods. I do hope that do not include 
uh, uh, SZM and Peter for Rustmap because those two are not compatible with the Pro Mods version of um, uh, uh, Promzona. But if he have 28 of them, including uh, EAA, uh, let's see what else, Australia, uh, PJ Indo, and it, worst case, even Afromap, then yeah, sure, it's it's 28. If he includes Afromap, PJ Indo, and, and uh, Australia, it would be, in my case as well, 28. I'm testing one with just 25 because I haven't included those three map mods. Uh, and of course, I haven't included neither Peter or TSM either. Uh, he's not using Promzona. Okay, so then he can add uh, SZM, I guess, and definitely Peter. Um, so he would have those two and then PJ Indo and Australia, I'm guessing, on top of EAA and what we also have on the uh, Ross and all of that so i guess that could make it to 28 as well i'd prefer to use it with promsona though that is what i'm testing at least uh thank you i'm glad you like the truck the rjl of course torpedo uh how do you get that many things on your truck what do you mean i have tires i have straight pipes i have it's, an, it's a mod, it's the RJL mod, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the video description to this truck. John Shipley, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, yes, Kev, I am multi-streaming. Uh, did the no Twitch notification look dodgy? Uh, hmm, I'm gonna look into that after the live stream then. Uh, it didn't look dodgy when I minimized it. Here's the engine. Now let's get out of here and see how far we can make it in three hours today. Yes, whoops. Fantastic, more trailer damage. Oh. <laughs> but I guess that's how all my live stream starts. Uh, <laughs> some damage and then... Mm. Uh, Mikolai, where you can find Great Step of 139 and Promos 251. Well, check out my um, map combos, perhaps, for, for uh, 139. Uh, you'll find it in all of them, or you'll find those two in, in all those that are labeled as Promos map combos. Uh, yes, I do use Toby Eye Tracker 5. In my not so humble opinion, <laughs> it is the best tracking device out there. At least it's the best I've ever tested, and uh, that includes uh, the software for it, which is really, really easy to use. Thank you, Korea. God damn it, dude. Thank you. I owe you. <laughs> Thank you for putting my affiliate link up there. I assume it's mine. <laughs> Could be yours, what do I know? <laughs> oh, that's nice. You're having Toby on the 6th of January. Well, congratulations to you. You will not regret it. Oh, horrible road. That's probably gonna hear. That's better. <laughs> You're angry at a and Olaf. Why is that? <laughs> uh, in Glockomano, I never listen to music when I'm hauling. I'm listening to the uh, beautiful truck. Uh, John Sheeplay, I have a Logitech G25 currently. Uh, might not be like that much longer. 
uh, as I said yesterday, there's a shifter in the making by Papa Bear. Uh, so, um, yeah, with that shifter, I will not need or I will not be using the shifter I have now. And the shifter I have now, uh, the one that came with the Logitech G25, is the reason I just love my G25. There are no better shifters available for any steering wheel right now. Except perhaps for the one Papa Bear is making. Uh, phase 3 of SnowRunner is out. Didn't they release Phase 2 just a month ago? I will not be going much faster than this. We have 24,000 kilometers more to do before we reach our destination. I really don't want to crash anymore. <laughs> I did know that there is a band called Wombat. Uh, I didn't know they were Swedish. I thought they were English. A and A is ignoring you, Olaf. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, the cargo I have. Hi, PT. It's been a long time, dude. Uh, I'm holding a 24, sorry, 47 ton. Uh, transformer for this haul so um proper cargo not the bridge but um and Kalia hi is there <laughs> hi Lennox how work was uh today uh, between us don't tell my boss very relaxing actually uh it's just the last three days uh and I kind of have to be there for some of the work uh, it's the same for two of my colleagues but my team we have we have 12 members in the team we have and all we need there right now is it's me or someone doing part of the work that I do and a couple of others just to make sure that everything is floating we're not actually working so it's very relaxed uh, we have these morning meetings that usually takes about 15 minutes took 45 hour 45 minutes today uh, just because we don't really have that much to do so work is boring but mm, it's okay just relaxing so the wombats are Swedish god damn it I gotta write them an email I, I I am a subscriber to the YouTube page and I've made a couple of comments on their on their uh, videos as well. Uh, I really like their music. Honest to God, I really like it. <laughs> well, PT, I can't remember seeing you here for quite some time, so I was kind of surprised. Um, and happy, of course, seeing you here again. Uh, <laughs> Chrissy, is that a I'll be there soon question? Uh, uh, we're not. We still have 23,928 kilometers to go. So we will not make it today. We won't be there, spoiler alert, we won't be there until next year. <laughs> Literally. Hi, Rowan. Uh, I'm Shaunak, I do hope I will not be using teleports, neither today nor during this entire haul, more than the one time I already have. Uh, <laughs> which, of course, was 10 minutes into yesterday's first live stream. <laughs> uh, Ducky is doing just fine, sitting over there, relaxing. Um, it's strange, he prefers looking back into the cab for some reason instead of on the road. I would probably get car sick if I was staring backwards all the time instead of forward, but he seems to be fine with it. Thank you very much, Seanak. That's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Super Patrick, thank you very much. Love to you as well. 
Uh, Chris eight seven thousand kilometers. Well, I, I kind of like these long hauls. Sure, they take a lot of time. Seven thousand kilometers. Probably gonna take you about seven hours to complete, and that's a proper long haul, of course. Uh, and there is a reason I'm only doing these extremely long hauls once per year. Uh, I mean, thirty thousand kilometers. Probably gonna take at least. Well, it it definitely will take at least thirty hours to complete. So, it's not. These really, really super long ones, it's not something I'm doing on a regular basis. But once a year, it's kind of fun seeing if it works. Ah, you're at your new work, Alex. Your eight day at Delhi PNG. Uh, El Mustafa, yes, I will be doing all 30,000 kilometers and it will take somewhere between, initially I said around 40 hours, but I'm going to change that to 30, somewhere between 30 and 35 hours to complete. <laughs> Abhishek, I will not teleport. <laughs> I want the end screen to say 30,287 kilometers at least. <laughs> uh, the Caucasus link might have to be updated, Richard. Uh, I have honestly not looked into that, uh, what I was focusing on yesterday, because I haven't done much, if anything, over the last... 10 days or so uh, I've had my kids there see I'm still taking it very slowly here I really don't want to have another accident there we go um, so I haven't really looked at map combos in in like 10 days now other than checking for newer versions um, so I downloaded quite a lot of new map mods on new versions uh, today and yesterday evening and um, well I have it up and running on my global combo uh, I haven't checked for updated mods like Caucasus for instance and as I said yesterday um, I'm not currently making or releasing map combos uh, for uh, legal reasons it is being looked into I have received a uh, email from my from the law firm I've hired, and um, again, let's just see what happens. Uh, if it's possible to do a tour from Vladivostok to Bulamuki, yes, it is, or at least it should be. I mean, I haven't tested this with CH map, but I'm pretty sure you could combine this with China. Well, I have tested it. Yes, you can do this with with the China map, uh, although on this combo it's actually longer to Moron than it is to Volumuki. Uh, Caucasus is found on the Roex uh, forum, yes. Uh, long story, Chrissy. Uh, the law email, um, I'm currently involved in some copyright issues. There is a person who don't want to use Want to allow me to use this map mod on my map combos he will allow everyone else to do it and so i have a law firm looking into that but it's quite expensive so let's see where it ends uh prince i'm only using two map mods here it's uh, eastern express and eaa and that's it i have uh, Eastern Ex I should have checked this up before we started today. Uh, <laughs> I think I have Eastern Express below EAA. If that doesn't work for you, then EAA at the bottom and then the Eastern Express above it. I honestly can't remember. <laughs> I forgot to check that before we started. Uh, yeah, it's, it sucks crazy, but on the other hand, uh, it's not the end of the world. And as someone already said there, Conquito have released his version of a new map combo. Uh, so, um, check that out. Urumuki. 
Why isn't it called just Vulumuki? That's so confusing. Uh, Greenland either belongs to Denmark or the United States. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still Denmark. Uh, PDCH uh, map is kind of two map mods. It is uh, Taiwan and it's mainland China. Uh, there are not a lot of uh, nice things to look at in Taiwan. Taiwan is getting very, very old. Uh, there are some really nice and very interesting areas on the CH part, or China part of the map. Especially as you go north. Uh, the southern parts of it is basically as old as Taiwan is. But the further north you go, and say the second half of the northern parts of China mainland, is actually quite nice. <laughs> so, looks like uh, Trump wasn't able to buy Greenland for some reason. <laughs> uh. Anyway, <laughs> 2021 is going to be a great year. <laughs> uh, to answer the other part of your question, PT, uh, CH map is... No, I wouldn't say it's fictive. Uh, sure, it's not to scale. Um, and the roads aren't necessarily 100% accurate, uh, but the uh, the parts you're driving through are relatively close to. They try to reassemble, uh, resemble the uh, the real China. Chicken fried noodles. Thank you very much for following me on uh, Twitch. Really like your name there, by the way. That's for the, uh, I don't speak Russian, but uh, welcome. <laughs> to our American viewers, uh, this is mainly European viewers, so uh, um, we might have different views on things. Uh, I'm not going to apologize for people having different opinions on things, but maybe we should stop talking politics. <laughs> oh, Yeah, let's have a quick look at the uh, map order at the end of the stream. That's a good idea, but please, Prince, please remind me. Otherwise, there's a risk I'll forget it. Ah! So, uh, where did he go? Where's his name? Uh, there it is, Das Vardir. Uh, hello to you, Mr. Das Vardir from Ukraine. Abhishek's from Asia? That's kind of vague. <laughs> I'm from Europe. Hi, Lizard. There we go. I'm very happy to see people from all over the world. That's awesome. Thank you for being here, every single one of you. Alfie! My man, welcome! <laughs> DDT from Vietnam, welcome to you as well. You speak European, Thanos, despite being from Internet. That's cool. Uh, Alfie, I have had a fantastic... Uh, Christmas, despite the lockdown, despite COVID-19, and to some extent because of COVID-19, actually. Uh, me and my daughters, we always go to, to Norway to my family over Christmas. Couldn't do that this year, so it was just the three of us. And I, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> um, I really, really enjoyed being able to spend 
all my time with the kids uh, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day. So th to me, that was fantastic. Of course, it's going to be very nice going back to Norway and next Christmas, but uh, but um, I'm glad I got to experience this. You're from home, absurd. Kind of like me, and I'm from uh, 127.0.0.1. What's my favorite mod? Uh, <laughs> I can only choose one. I mean, the answer is 10 minutes long, probably. Um, map mods, obviously, is my favorite type of mods. So standalone, I'm going to say uh, Grand Utopia and add on map pro mods. There we go. Uh, would I recommend CH map PT uh, Beastman? Thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, yes, I would recommend you at least give CH map a try, see what it's like. Again, especially um, in the more northern parts of of the Chinese mainland, Taiwan. Just skip that part, to be honest. But. Um, the mainland, northern half of it, is is very interesting and quite beautiful in some places even. How does your spin sound like? I ist in ein Stadium on Odin's day. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> My thoughts on Project Japan, Prince. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the next version of the map. They're making some really cool changes to it. Um, what I do lack with uh, Project Japan is, is speed of development. Mr. Fluff Burns, thank you for following me on Twitch. Uh, it's, it's going very, very slowly in my opinion. Um, it's not that strange that it is going slowly because they are creating a ton of assets for it and it seems like every time they want to expand they need a ton of new assets and prefabs and things so uh, it is slow but maybe moving to one to three scale isn't a bad move maybe that can help them uh, speed it up a little bit not really sure how it's going to help them speed it up, but but maybe it will. And I, I have kind of given up on it being uh, a map mod, add-on map mod. Uh, they haven't given up on it, apparently. But um, I'm not sure in the long run that they will be able to keep a 1 to 19 scale and a 1 to 3 scale map going. So, let's see. Rob, IFC Suter, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Appreciate that. Well, we're getting close to 1100 now. Not that I'm counting. <laughs> <coughs> Sotska! My man, welcome! How are you, Sotska? Merry Christmas to you. I will not do a return trip. Thank you very much. I don't feel like doing 60,000 kilometers over Christmas. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with only doing 30. Sotka, a.k.a. Rocketman, I guess. <laughs> Kalia, there's no way I'm gonna bring this one back or go back to, to Russia again. <laughs> I'm gonna be pretty fed up with this haul once I reach uh, Moron. 
So uh, now, thank you very much. I'm doing great, Sotka. Thank you very much. Uh, sounds like you didn't really enjoy your Christmas for some reason. Uh, Prince, I've already done holding on Harsh Russia, Siberia uh, in the past. I might do that again. Um, might. I will do that again. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> kind of missed the bumper I lost there. <laughs> Hi, MRT. Uh, yeah, I, I still think, honestly, I really think that there are some positive things about ROS. I still use it from time to time, uh, but I do prefer to use it as a standalone map, really. Um, that's how I prefer to use it. And when you do, you can add a ton of Russian things to it. Russian traffic, Russian cargo, Russian truck mods, and things like that. Um, and um, sure, there's a lot of things that aren't too pretty to look at, but um, I don't know. I still like it for some reason. Well, Victor, if you found a nasty one, I suggest you post your game.log on my Discord server. Because you shouldn't have those kind of problems with the map combo. And um, if that was an actual problem, we would see more people reporting it. And currently you're the only one. So uh, please do as I suggest in the video, post your game.log in the Discord server. We will help you figure it out. Scarpie, thank you very much for hosting my stream. <laughs> Outlaw, no. Can't really say I painted my beard. <laughs> I did dye it, but uh, no paint involved. <laughs> Maybe I should try that. <laughs> see, see what that looks like if I paint it. Hi, Timu. Uh, Moron uh, is behind the steering wheel, and also it's a city in Venezuela. Uh, Naki J. KJ2607, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. <laughs> yes, my beard died, at least the color did, that's why I dyed it, because it died. Just ask Kalia. I look 10 years younger now that I've dyed my hair, beard, so um, I'm keeping it black instead of gray. Uh, if this map is compatible with Frosty Winter mods, uh, maybe it is. I didn't bother testing. Uh, I'm guessing that there will be places uh, that uh, where you don't have snow. Um, I'm very confident you will find places where you don't have snow uh, because it's not going to be 100% compatible. But uh, I don't think it's going to crash the game if you use the winter the winter mods. Uh, however. I'm not using it now, but that's not because it isn't compatible. It's just because there is a high risk that there will be places that looks very strange if I use the winter mods. So that's why I just didn't add it. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake, Kalia. You're confusing me with Bang and Jay. <laughs> Thank you, Olaf. I, I, I appreciate your support, to Olaf. <laughs> uh, PT, if I like Harry Potter and, and the Lord of the Rings, uh, I love Lord of the Rings. I love Star Wars. Um, Harry Potter is okay, I guess. Not a huge fan, really, but sure. Um, they're okay. But I do love uh, Lord of the Rings and uh, all of those movies. There is this app by actually by Microsoft. Uh, my daughter showed it to me about a year ago. And so, as some of you might know, and this might come as a shock to the rest of you, I'm actually not 25, I'm actually 49. Um, despite looking much, much younger, of course. Uh, <laughs> um, and this app tells you, among other things, what it estimates your age to be. So I was kind of sad before I dyed my beard because it, it, it insisted that I was around 55. And this is true. After dyeing my beard, it thinks I'm around 40. Honest to God. So um, I'm going to keep on dyeing my beard. That's just how it is. If I've ever met PewDiePie, Prince, no, I have not. There are 10 million Swedes. Uh, a million and a half of us lives here in Stockholm. So, um, no, I've never met PewDiePie. Thank you, Chrissy. I do love you. Uh, thank you very, very much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna let it just grow now. I'm, I'm not gonna shave it off again. I'm gonna keep the beard this time and let it grow. Uh, I'm a ZC Top fan as well. So, mm, I'm gonna go full ZC Top on this. I might braid it. My uh, my youngest is an expert in all those things. She told me that it's too short for that yet, but um, eventually that might happen as well. Uh, and Andreas, for the record, my beard, if I didn't dye it, it would be gray, uh, not white, unfortunately. Well, hello, that's, that's the plan. I'm gonna go. Let it grow. <laughs> Thank you, Malta. I appreciate it. <laughs> Even though you're you're a horrible liar, I still appreciate it. <laughs> no. Grey beard didn't make me look wise, it made me look old. It kind of made me look like a hobo too. Uh, I mean, on the subway people were giving me coins and things like that, so... I, I probably looked like a hobo when the beard was grey, so... Um. The truck I like the most, PD, uh, it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Uh, maybe one day there will be a Scania LB76 again. There was one many years ago, uh, but they stopped working on it and it's gone since 126 or something. Uh, but Scania LB76 is what I hope I'll be able to haul in one day.
uh, <laughs> uh, but the RJL trucks I'm using right now is it's one of my favorites. There is a couple of Volvo trucks I like. Uh, most of them have the same thing in common. They are older mods from the 70s, 60s. Uh, the older the better. Good evening, Eagle. Welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm sure no one wanna know anything about whether or not I have uh, hair on my chest or not. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Official Mikko Tapio, welcome. Good evening, sir. A Kamas would be very nice on Russian maps. Uh, I was actually testing, among other things, uh, a Kamaz and a couple of other Russian trucks as well uh, for this haul. None of them played nicely with this map, specifically this map. Uh, I had some 20 FPS drops uh, inside the cab, so I was around 40 FPS inside the cab in some places and going using uh, button number two that used the outside camera, I had 60 FPS but I, I felt like I can't really use a, a, a truck mod that that kills 20 FPS. So um, I tested out quite a few map uh, truck mods before I decided to just play it safe and use the RJL truck instead. Uh, yes, Tony, I did try Greenland and it turns out it's just one city so far. So there's... Um, it still doesn't answer the question I have. How will the map creator uh, solve the problem, the fact that there are no roads between the cities uh, on uh, in, in Greenland? The only roads you have in Greenland are inside the cities, or towns, rather. Um, so... I'm not disappointed in any way, but I was kind of hoping for more than just one city. Uh, absolutely, Mr. Madmoose. Come on, truck mods. Uh, I Depends on which one you use, of course. Uh, currently, there's only two mods, two Kamas uh, that are being updated, so there are only two Kamas trucks or two Russian truck mods that are actually updated for 139. Then there are a couple of others that are paid mods. Uh, MTG has one, uh, costs around 25 euros, and I actually bought that some time ago. I tested that as well here, and it didn't play nice, specifically with Eastern Express for some reason. No, they're not cities really, they're more like towns, Thanos. Uh, villages, perhaps, in Greenland. None of them are huge. <laughs> there are no skyscrapers in Greenland, that's for sure. Uh, Prince, we're currently on Eastern Express. And uh, since you're asking on YouTube, there is a link to it in the video description. It is, however, a paid mod and you need a verified Yandex account. Bear Fries Snakes, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, so it, it's a paid mod, you have to pay for it, you have to use a Yandex account to pay for it. So it's basically unobtainium or for Europeans. Oh! Uh, let's have a look at the map because we've been doing this for 30 minutes now. See where we are. We are uh, Frederick. Thank you very much for subscribing on YouTube. We're just east of Kuskun. And my hope today is that we will make it perhaps to somewhere between Omsk and Kurgan. And Haley Khan, thank you as well for subscribing on YouTube. Uh, but we started down here in Vladivostok. And we're still hitting the target perfectly. 
we've done 500 kilometers in 30 hours 30 minutes so um we will probably make another 3000 kilometers tonight and then of course we're going to calais and we are gonna go from san gregorio all the way up to moron <laughs> Uh, we will reach Moron uh, sometime next year. Uh, there are many ways to obtain uh, map mods, uh, Prince. The only legal way of doing it is, of course, buying it. But there are... For better and for worse, there are other ways to obtain map mods. Hi, DJ. <laughs> Imagine going on, living in Moron, and going on vacation, and people ask you where you're, you're where you're from. How do you respond to that? Uh, without everyone thinking you're an thinking you're a douchebag. Where are you from? Moron. <laughs> I mean that's not a good response, is it? <laughs> anyway. Cheers everyone. The shaking you see here is tarmac. It's not a problem with the truck or a conflict with the trailer we have here or anything like that. It is tarmac. It is, it is a little bit bumpy here and in a lot of other places as well. Uh, really looking forward to South Africa. I welcome new map mods that allows us to haul in more parts of the world. Uh, there is a Quite a few very exciting map mods coming out pretty soon. Uh, Cyber 2.0, uh, they have been posting quite a lot of new images lately. And it looks like a first version of Cyber 2.0 might be out relatively soon. <laughs> uh, ah, Sotka, I hope you're very wrong on that. <laughs> I have a <laughs> bad feeling that once the game is updated to 1.40 even, uh, it's going to reset me and I will have to start all over. <laughs> so, <laughs> hopefully we will make it to Moron before the game is updated. Uh, Twix, we are going to be doing this for another two and a half hours today. I do expect that this haul will take another IRL 24 hours to complete. Gugpu, thank you for hosting my stream. Uh, so, um, this is part three. Expect me to be on part at least 10 before we reach Moron. Hi, Gugpu. Never mind the dislikes, Prince. Uh, it seems like, um, well, there's always going to be dislikes. Uh, Eastern Express is not compatible with uh, Ross Map, Ross, Southern Region, Great Step, Road to Aral, Caucasus Mod, uh, Project Turkey, Rowex. Pro mods, none of that. It's not compatible with any of them. Uh, so basically, it makes sense to combine this if you need to combine it with anything, EAA or China map perhaps. But other than that, there's really no point in trying to combine this map mod with anything else. Hi, Java. Uh, Fakes. <laughs> How many kilometers to go? Uh, 23,400. 
Uh, how my Christmas was, Java. It was fantastic. How was yours? <laughs> I kind of agree with you, uh, Race. Uh, sometimes the dislikes are guess they are they have just to make a statement perhaps. Uh, in any case, I honestly do not care about dislikes. Uh, I'm not here for the dislikes. <laughs> and hopefully neither are you, so. Saddles, uh, if you missed anything, 1% uh, trailer damage due to gravel roads and a bump in the road. And that's all. It's pretty eventless so far. Uh, you can't combine this one, Richard, with both EAA and China. You have to choose between them. Uh, I do think you can load, actually, China and EAA on the same profile, but you, you will end up with having uh, EAA cutoff in the middle. Or possibly having uh, China map cut in the middle instead. One of them will be cut in the middle. I do wish that if you use the dislike button, you would have to to um, at least say something about why you dislike. I, honestly, I have no problems with dislikes, but I do wish that people could say something about why they disliked it. Perhaps allowing me to do whatever it is they don't like better next time. Grey Dog. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, serious Gamer, have I ever been on a boat? Dude, I grew up uh, next to the ocean. Uh, very close to the ocean. Uh, my parents had a boat. My brother had a boat. I had a boat. And uh, I spent a lot of time growing up uh, in the North Sea, literally in the North Sea, by myself. Uh, fishing. I just loved fishing. I still love fishing. Never have time to do it anymore, but I, I do love it. Uh, so I absolutely grew up on a... Well, I didn't grow up on a boat, but uh, uh, I think I had five or six different boats growing up. Uh, I don't like fish anymore. Except for sushi. <laughs> uh, but that's more because there are almost no fish left in the sea. And that makes me sad. So I don't eat a lot of sea, uh, fish anymore. Um, it's just horrible to see that so many restaurants these days, they don't offer the same types of fish that we loved to eat when I was young. It's Today it's... it's fish we have never heard of before uh, because the fish that we used to eat is almost extinct. DT Fang, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. <laughs> Fair enough, Michael. <laughs> thank you for explaining why you disliked it. I, I, I gotta respect that. You're at work. I should have known better than streaming when you're at work. <laughs> Oh, you had a fishbone stuck in your throat, Grey Dog. Ooh. Well, I, you're still alive, so I guess someone knew the Heimlich maneuver. Uh, Nelson Lyrics, my Promods 251 global combo was probably the smallest global combo I've ever met made because that was not including uh, neither PJ Indo nor Australia nor Ross nor Promsona. So it was kind of small to be honest. Um, Punkito have uh, already created a new map mod global map combo uh, including uh, Ross um, and a few other map mods that I 
that wasn't available when I created mine, so uh, you should check that out. I hope dislikes isn't there to make it yin and yang, because then we should have 50-50 likes, dislikes. <laughs> and that, that would probably affect me. <laughs> that would very much make me question why the hell I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, DT Fang, thank you for hosting my stream. Hi Pavlo, uh, having a great evening as always. Uh, doing another, as it looks right now, 3000 kilometers on the world's longest haul of 2020. Yeah, I feel sorry for the fishes. Um, I mean, so, sometimes I see talks about, oh, the seals are eating too much fish and all that crap. That's just bullshit. We are fishing too much. We need to accept that there aren't that much fish left in the ocean, so. Uh, Pablo, that was from Quito. Uh, maybe some of the admins could put up a link to his YouTube page. You're getting your new computer right now, Quentin? Awesome. Thank you for being here. Have a great evening. Enjoy your computer. <laughs> uh, if I will play Sri Lanka map when it's released. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, of course I will. <laughs> of course I will. Nice serious gamer. Double trailer and parking it. I assume you backed it into wherever it was at an advanced parking. Uh, let's see. We need to find somewhere to stop for the evening. And maybe at the gas station over there. Oh, Quentin, RTX 3070, are you kidding me? That's as fast as an RTX 2080 Ti. Congratulations. No, apparently we can't park there. Huh. Prince, why the hell do you want to buy a PS5 for? There's absolutely no reason to have a PS5. What you need is an awesome stationary PC instead and ETS2 and ATS. ATS. I will try to find somewhere to uh, sleep very soon if that doesn't work. Let's have a look at the map. I wonder how long we're going to have to keep on going before we find somewhere to... It's not that long. Let's keep on. Yeah, what Thanos said, buy a 3060 instead of a PS5. Uh, Teach Piglet. ETS2map.ru is the web page for Eastern Express. So that's where you go. Uh, you have to log on, you have to go into the forum and you'll find all the information there. But again, you will have to, uh, uh, you will need a verified Yandex account to buy the map. So if you don't have that, there's no point really in, um, in creating an account on that page. There it is. Lee Jeffries, good evening to you, sir. How are you doing? I think this is where I should park. Come on. Seriously. It kind of feels like this is exactly where I should park.
Uh, hi, brother of Serious Gamer. <laughs> uh, maybe that'll work. Okay, so screw that then. Uh, let me just refuel and um, play God instead. I don't really need new fuel, but we're here, so why not? Uh, Hacker CDC, this uh, hall has 3,500 kilometers uh, in a ferry. Uh, there we have that. Uh, let's see, uh, 5 o'clock in the morning will be just fine. There we go. What do you mean, no beacons on? <laughs> oh! oh! No, 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 no! Don't touch my truck! And thank you for letting me into traffic, that's very kind of you. Uh, Larts, uh, for now, use the Punkito um, map combo, will ya? I don't plan on releasing anything this side of the new year. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with the Russians don't care about beacons. I'm gonna switch them off again because it's bloody annoying to have that running for another 24 hours. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, by the way, there is a link to the RJL truck in the video description, if you don't have it already. And if you don't have it already, then um, shame on you. Everyone needs to have the RJL trucks um, in their favorite list of, uh, of uh, truck mods. Good evening, Azure. Uh, G. Kiran, I love you too. <laughs> you lost your internet connection at home, Olaf. Oh, that, that's gonna be scary. Uh, Pete, if I don't think Fred has a uh, torpedo, does he? Uh, Quillan, uh, thirty thousand kilometers will take at least thirty hours IRL. Uh, I'm dividing it into um, uh, three-hour parts, so it's a ten-part live stream. This, at least, more likely, it's going to be eleven parts. Uh, because we will not, I think, be able to do 1,000 kilometers per hour. Uh, 
And beside Fred's is also next gen, isn't it? So um, RJL is uh, is the old generation series four and five. Fred has a 2012. You know, I guess I'm, I'm never, I don't think I've ever used Fred's uh, Scania, to be honest. Uh, because I've always been such a fan of, uh, of the RJLs because of all the cost uh, trailer add ons you can add to the RJL. So I never really cared about Fred's. But okay, it's a, uh, it's a uh, old gen truck then fine uh, I still prefer RJL no we're still waiting for someone to create a tunnel mod <laughs> between Europe and uh, <laughs> and the EAA um, the um, ferry we have though is not the original ferry by the way uh, also for those of you on YouTube I'm linking to the no ferry mod that I'm using for this um, because EAA, EAA doesn't include an actual ferry to San Gregorio where we're going uh, so what I did was I created a ferry mod that removed all the ferries to Europe and replaced them with just one ferry from Calais to San Gregorio so that we can maximize the number of kilometers we have to haul to get to Moron. RJL will probably stay free forever. It's been around for ages. It's always been free. I have a really hard time seeing that becoming a paid mod anytime soon or ever. Come on, come on, it's only 47 tons, come on. There we go. One thing I like about this map mod is uh, the city skylines we have here. Uh, the cities in this game, and especially Moscow, is incredibly, ridiculously big. Um, just don't get too close to them. <laughs> uh, but looking at it from a distance, it looks incredible. I really like to see this. Uh, again, from a distance. Hi, Eggerman. Uh Yes, we're still in Russia. We're going to be in Russia. Um, we might be able to get out of Russia tomorrow. Probably not until uh, Wednesday. <laughs> That's just how it is. On Wednesday we will uh, leave Moscow. Sorry, leave uh, leave um, Russia. Yeah, you might have to restart your phone there, Asher. Um, I have only tested some 3,000 kilometers on this map combo before I decided that I was going to do this. But we shouldn't have any frame drops. Hopefully no surprises whatsoever. Uh, these two map mods should work together pretty nicely.
Hi Lion! DKV2. Or is it DK version 2? DK version 2. DK version 2. What happened to version 1? How are you doing? I do enjoy uh, Eugene's trucks. Uh, again, uh, because cast have support for Eugene's trucks. Um, I really like those. Det er for Danmark. Danmark. God aften. Uh, so hi. Uh, how much cover kilometers? Uh, how many kilometers we've done, or how many kilometers we have left? I am uh, Dopshi. Thank you very much for subscribing on on uh, Twitch. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Whoa, wrong gear. Wrong gear. There we go. Uh, we have done almost seven thousand kilometers so far. So hype. Um, but on part three, which where we are now, we've done only around 1,000 kilometers in an hour. <laughs> I'm the godfather of trucking now, Dobsha. I kind of like that, but I'm not, but I kind of like that. <laughs> Paulia, thank you very much for being here. Take care, have a great day. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. <coughs> Hi, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're having... I am at least having a blast doing this. 30,000 kilometers. I, uh, I love long hauls, what can I say? Wait, what? Madster is making his uh, TGX a paid mod now? Why? <laughs> well, Java, I guess that means that I'm gonna have to do more live streams, or as many live streams as I can. Um, I really enjoyed, and I still enjoy Northern Alex. Um, Squirrel, of course, is the reason I started doing this. Uh, he's, he's still my big hero. I don't watch a lot of Squirrel's videos these days, but from time to time he come back and play some ETS2 and I always watch that. Hydro, we are in Russia. Um, in the city of Bogotol. And we all know where Bogotol is, right? I see, Petey. Uh, yeah, there's another one that goes down the drain because of piracy. God damn it. I just wish people could stop pirating things, including Eastern Express. Cross my heart and all of that. Uh, it is ruining the, uh, the community, really, with all the piracy. Hi, Vince, and welcome to Russia. Daniel, yes, I did bleach my dye my beard. 
It used to be beautifully gray. <laughs> and now it is um, making me look young. So, um, that's a nice truck. Nice, Aberdeen, Washington to Key West, Florida. Took a week. Uh, what is that? That's uh, five, six thousand miles, seven thousand miles. Uh, it's anyway a very long haul. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, no, it's not Rush Map, it is Eastern Express. Uh, a paid Russian map that isn't really available here in Europe. Uh, so it's not that known here in Europe. Uh, but it is bonkers big and that's why I'm using it for for this haul. Petey, my real name. Uh, Alfie, do you want to answer that question? <laughs> Uh, my real name is Alfie. It's a well-known secret. Yeah, Dobsha, Lisbon to Vladivostok. Uh, Really looking forward to Iberia coming out. When it does, well, Rasmap, sorry, Lisbon to Vladivostok will happen. I do understand you meant uh, Microsoft Flight Sim and not means mainstream media 2020. Uh, I don't think Squirrel was doing this map six years ago. He was probably doing Rust map six years ago. <laughs> Baviana, <laughs> oh, I'm driving and reading uh, comments at the same time. Uh, I'm a bloody idiot. That's why. That's how I'm able to do it. Uh, so I have a screen above the gaming screen where I can see all the comments. So I'm actually not looking at the game <laughs> that much, which is why I sometimes crash. <laughs> Uh, car mods PT, honestly, I hate them. I do not like car mods at all. Except perhaps for the um, shopping cart with a monkey on it and a wheelchair and the Lego car, maybe. Uh, that's all. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Rust Map existed in 2014. Uh, yeah, yesterday, one thing about yesterday's crash there, I did what I always do, I tried to um, um, explain to you how it couldn't possibly be my fault that we did a, a crash, I always do that, and from what I understand, some of you think that I'm not joking when I'm trying to um, explain it away. Um, for the record, I do know that it was my fault that we crashed yesterday, like it's my fault every time I crash. It's just me fooling around joking when I'm trying to explain how it isn't my fault. So putting that straight, yesterday's crash was my fault, period. Uh, Rowex didn't exist in 2014. 
Uh, Promod's dead. Yeah, that was the excuse we came up with, friends. I crashed because I didn't have a 3090. <laughs> it's always something like that. It's always someone's someone's else's fault. Uh, but that is just me joking. It's not that I don't understand that it was my fault. That was close. That's the kind of situation we were in yesterday. No, 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 no. There we go. So. That was close. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, that is not a crash, Olaf. That is not a crash. <laughs> it was a close call, but... It wasn't a crash. <laughs> Jeez, that was very close. <laughs> um, uh, there are two things, I think. Uh, it takes a while to stop this truck and also I think that the game uh, is not giving you a very long uh, warning before it starts closing the gates so it is a problem I can't really say I'm having a lot on other map mods it's it's on this one I am going. Uh, well, if you go back and look at it, I did notice the red light. I immediately slammed the brakes, but we have 47 tons behind us, so it took a while for my truck to stop. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, close call, but we made it. Uh, Dobsha, this is Eastern uh, Russia. It is not Ross map, if that's what you're asking. Uh, this is Eastern Express. Uh, I'm going to show you the map again in a little bit. Oh, for crying out loud, Thanos, why do you do that? Uh, yes, Daniel, I have. I am using slow mode in the chat because I'm having a really hard time keeping up with all the comments. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful problem. <laughs> uh, so just because, and, and it still happens, people feel that I'm ignoring them. I'm not doing that on purpose, of course, but I, there's no time for me to read all the comments. So in an attempt to try to at least keep up with most of what is written, I have enabled slow mode and um, so there's a 30 second timeout every time you have posted a comment. There we go. On the name for a stream, uh, Ser. Sergeisha? Sergey, perhaps? <laughs> uh, 
Um, it's also very true, Sereja. Uh, this is, well, maybe not the world's longest haul ever, but it is definitely 30,000 kilometers. Uh, PD, this part three will be three hours. And uh, then we continue tomorrow for another three hours. Same thing on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, which is New Year's Eve, uh, I will do two live streams. One at 1 p.m. Central European time and another one at uh, 6 p.m. Central European time. And by then we should be on EAA or in South America. Mike Kornika, thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you as well and Happy New Year. It is getting close, isn't it? Um, we, we will have either 10 or 11 parts to this, uh, Daniel. And we will reach EAA on Thursday. <laughs> and I kind of like that fact that, well, we're going to spend the next couple of days in Russia, and then we're going to spend one day in Europe, and then we're going to spend another three or four days in South America before we reach Boron. Uh, we're going to keep on going for another hour and a half or so, PT. Today we started an hour and 20 minutes ago. Yeah, we looked into that yesterday and I think the total IRL for a haul like this, if you have all the roads in Russia available and if you have all the roads in South America available uh, is a total of 20 to 23,000 kilometers or so in game it is 30,000 kilometers uh, but of course we don't have a straight line to haul uh, either because well from Vladivostok you go north and then you start going east after around three hours so there's that. Good evening, Ufishu, and welcome. And Pavan, welcome to you as well. Nuno, welcome. And welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I hope you are enjoying this. If you are, please give me a thumbs up and perhaps, I don't know, subscribe on YouTube. Or why not uh, become a follower on Twitch or perhaps even a subscriber there. Feel free to press those buttons anytime you like. FFP Row, uh, we are currently on Eastern Express. Uh, a pretty big map of Russia. Uh, if I've realized that it's more possible to get find on the Russian maps than elsewhere, Eggman, no, I have not. Is it? Maybe you are um, breaking the law more in Russia than you are everywhere else. Yes. Mm. Pavan, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. In Soviet Russia, the law breaks you. You don't break the law, the law breaks you. <laughs> well, we are in Russia, so people are speeding here. It's Russia after all. Yeah, I... You know, Nielsen, 
is it Nissan or is it Nelson lyrics? Uh, in any case, uh, the the reason Yandex is required is because of the um, European and American sanctions against Russia. So you can't use PayPal in Russia. Um, there are apparently workarounds for it because there are some Russian groups like MTG, for instance, that allows you to pay use in PayPal. But um, for this map and uh, a few other mods as well, you need to have a Yandex account, a verified Yandex account. And those are pretty hard to come by. Um, so, um, yeah. Maybe some one day in the future they will um, remove the sanctions on Russia. And maybe then we can all just use PayPal instead to buy maps like this. Well, Mike, it is working on 139, but of course you need a version created for 139. I'm using one right now. Uh, and sure, Eastern Express have been around for a long time. Uh, it's still expanding, it's still getting growing bigger. Um, I kind of hope one day uh, it will include at least some of North Korea. I mean, we're pretty close to North Korea with Vladivostok in there. Hi, Paris Chanslum! And Make Camp 2014, welcome to you as well. Uh, well, this map is still being expanded, so uh, I'm personally guessing he will stay inside of Russia. But uh, expect more of Russia on this map in the future. FAPERO, I'm guessing I have 60 FPS. I can't really see it. But I guess it's 60 FPS. It should be at least. Yeah, Daniel, Iberia. Uh, we'll have, uh, after Iberia, we will have Russia DLC. <coughs> uh, I kind of feel sorry, really sorry for, for Ross map. Um, for the work that Sergei has been doing on, on, on Ross map. Uh, but at the same time, I think it's. I'm glad we're getting a DLC for Russia. Hopefully, all the way to Moscow. Um, imagine how that could have an impact on Southern Region on the Siberia 2.0 map when that comes out on on the Great Steppe. Imagine them using the um, the assets and prefabs from a Russia DLC. That was quick, Quentin. You have your new. Com you didn't build your comp your PC yourself, did you, Quentin? You bought a pre-built PC. Hmm. Well, I hope you're happy with it. You should be. RTX 3070. You're gonna enjoy playing ETS2 and ATS on that one. Volga map. Uh, might still work, hopefully will work. Uh, the military underground places in Eastern Express, aren't they still there, Per? I think they're still there, some of them at least. Uh, Alex, yes, I do hope that we will be able to use mods in multiplayer, SCS versions of multiplayer, that is, when it's released next year. Uh, maybe on 141, who knows. Uh, but I, I do hope that we will be allowed to use uh, mods there. I would be kind of surprised if they didn't allow us to use mods. Uh, Mike, from what we know, they are not working on Balkans and Greece right now. Uh, they ha do have two teams working on uh, on DLCs for ETS2, though, so... They might be starting on... They might have started on, on something like, for instance, Balkans or, or Greece already. Um, 
because um, Iberia is more or less complete. <laughs> I'm not ignoring any messages on purpose, Prince. <laughs> Hi Matt, and welcome to Eastern Express. Let's have a look at the map again, shall we? Uh, here we are. So we've hauled from there over to... No, let's zoom out a bit, perhaps. Um, here it is. This is Eastern Express. We started in Vladivostok. You have uh, North Korea down here, around there. Uh, so it's, it's pretty close. So we started in Vladivostok yesterday. And so far, we've made it all the way to, almost to Kemerovo. And no, I'm pretty sure they will not include gulags in Russia. <laughs> uh, I do hope that we, in an hour and a half, will be somewhere around between Omsk and Kurgan. So that's my goal for today, making it to Omsk, somewhere between Omsk and Kurgan. Then tomorrow, we should reach Moscow. And then on Wednesday, we should be very close, at least to Calais. And then on New Year's Eve, on Thursday, we are in San Gregorio, hauling on EAA. And then on Friday, and perhaps on Saturday, we should reach more on, could be on Sunday as well, I don't know. But pretty close to, um, it's sometime... Uh, well, I guess at the end of this week, sometime early next year, we should reach Moron. Uh, Matt, thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much, Matt. Aha! <laughs> can't talk. Thank you very much, Matt. I'm having a fantastic day. I, I do love doing these long hauls. You have no idea how much I enjoy it. Uh, once you get into it, it's not that hard, really. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm getting impatient because I should be there soon. There's no, I, there's no, absolutely no point in being impatient when you're doing something like this. You just have to calm down and get into it and just keep on going. And I just love that. Uh, how to run your computer faster? Uh, Abba. Of a Vonik person from Greece, probably how to make it faster. Uh, well, you could uh, always upgrade it. I guess that is the best way of doing it. You could overclock it if you like. I guess that works too. But uh, in my personal opinion, it's probably better to add more ROM. Uh, perhaps if, if ETS2 and ATS is the games you're playing, maybe upgrade your graphics cards. Uh, Prince, I would never choose a gaming laptop. There shouldn't be anything called gaming laptop, really, in my opinion. Uh, workstations are the way to go. You want a stationary PC, not a laptop for gaming. Uh, it's, it's so much better to just upgrade a graphics card than having to buy a completely new laptop every time you want to do an upgrade. Ah, I knew it. You were from Greece. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, no, I have not overclocked my 9900K. I could do it, but there is absolutely no point uh, in doing that. But from my, from what I heard here, it's uh, it's a pretty good CPU to overclock. Yeah, I I think it's both cheaper and better to build your PCs yourself. Um, you can basically get everything you want in it, 
uh, over time and of course knowing how to build it makes it so much easier for you to to do upgrades whether it's a, an m2 drive or or a graphics card or just a bit of rom doesn't really matter if you know how to do that you, you're gonna save a lot of money Well, I will overclock my 9900K the day I'm feeling that I have to. But for now at least, I, there's really no point. <laughs> well, I'm going to stay away from Truckers MP for some time now. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that for a bit. <laughs> After the last live stream we had on, on Drugger's MP. Uh, the mods we're using here, uh, since you're asking on YouTube, you'll find the links to all of them in the video description. Uh, I'm using Eastern Express, I'm using EAA, I have the RJL truck and that's about it. Hi Ray! How you doing? Did you ask before, Ray? I do apologize. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not ignoring people on purpose. I do apologize, Ray. <laughs> uh, yes, I have been to Greece. Uh, my uh, my wife, the, daughter, the mother of my oldest daughter, um, when we were young, we uh, decided to... Um, I had to work and uh, she decided to go to Greece and uh, we decided we were gonna meet up in Greece uh, after her first two weeks there um, and um, we were supposed to, I can't remember which of the islands but we were supposed to meet on one of the islands so I came to uh, Athens got on the boat to that island uh, the trip was, I think it was six or eight hours, and I was very tired, so I, I fell asleep. I overslept. So I woke up after eight hours on that boat uh, on our way to another island. So I was kind of, okay, what am I going to do now? I overslept. I was supposed to meet her there in two hours. When is the next boat going to go from wherever we're going now? We're talking to the, uh, the staff on the boat, and Turns out my wife wasn't the same boat. Uh, she had overslept as well. <laughs> um, so we had a very romantic meeting there on that boat on our way to... We ended up on Kos. A brilliant country. And, uh, Greece. I love Greece. The ROG gaming laptops are very good. They are, but they're still laptops. So I wouldn't touch them. Well, it's better to sleep in boats, trains or buses than in your car, I guess. Especially if you're behind the wheel. From what I hear, the South American map will be an add-on map. Hopefully it is on the 1 to 19 scale and located more or less in its correct position, so... Uh, really, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that there are no South Korea maps out there. Maybe there are. I mean, there are quite a lot, quite a few map mods out there 
that we don't normally hear about. Uh, Vietnam map, for instance. Uh, there is a Philippines map mod. Uh, I will be checking that out uh, very soon. Uh, but these map mods aren't available on the SES forum, on the ProMods forum, Rowex forum. Uh, they're not available on ETS2. Um, they are made available sometimes on Facebook, other times on Twitter. Um, and in other cases, in different social media apps that we've never heard of here. So I wouldn't be surprised if there is a South Korea map out there, but I'm not aware of any. Uh, which doesn't mean that they don't exist. Uh, I just wish someone would make North Korea. That would be awesome. Uh, I haven't had a chance to try out the new Lightning uh, by SES Mike. Uh, once the beta version is out, of course I'm going to test it. Uh, it's only going to work apparently on the base map until until um, Iberia is out. As they said, Iberia would be the first DLC that includes it. Um, so I expect the base map having it from day one. Um, in any case, I really look forward to trying it out. I'm very curious about it. <laughs> uh, I still can't pronounce your name there, uh, guy from Greece, but uh, thank you very much for subscribing. And thank you very much for your kind words. Yeah, that's true. You have the South Korea off-road map. Don't use that. It's not South Korea. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> uh, I'm not still going. We have started over. Uh, we were just doing two times three hours yesterday. We're doing another three hour session today. <laughs> it's not like I'm still going. <laughs> Uh, but the South Korea adventure slash off-road map is stolen uh, from something. I don't know what it is stolen from. It was... It's very old uh, from way before I really got interested in map mods. So... Um, there is another one as well, a map mod that I used on... Oh, oh God! Is everyone okay? I was. Oh well, moving on. Panagiotis Olympiakos. Um, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call him Panda, if that's the case. Panda. <laughs> yeah, the island map. I use that, but. When you go there and, and it's supposed to be an island in, in South Korea, uh, it, it really isn't. It's only an island in South Korea to the name. Uh, but a proper map of South Korea, or at least some of it, uh, there is none that I'm aware of. Well, normal day in Russia, and um, uh, I will be applying the Top Gear rules anyway, so I'm leaving them behind. Uh, Smelly Pengu will not update Antarctica, unfortunately. He's been very clear on that. He was talking about updating it, but then he decided that there's really no time for him to do that, so... Um, Uh, Eggman, was that cr car crash a bug or normal? Uh, it's Russia, so it could be normal. <laughs> um, it's EE, so Eastern Express, so it could be a bug as well. Uh, I'm going to say it's normal. 
Palmito, yes, I'm using Toby Eye Tracker 5. Uh, it's the best tracking device available, in my opinion. Definitely, definitely the easiest one to set up ever. Uh, yes, Panda, I do watch Formula One. It's the only sport I actually follow actively. I'm, I'm watching every single uh, training session, every quality. I'm watching all of it. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Thank you, Korea, for posting the link there. So, if you're interested in buying Eye Tracker 5, there's my affiliate link to it. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, the, the price isn't any cheaper. It's still going to set you back to 120 euros. Um, but using the affiliate link uh, gives me a tiny percentage of that. So, um, The train crash yesterday, uh, Rex Gamer. We almost had an identical uh, crash just half an hour ago as well. <laughs> yeah, using that link is gonna make me very rich. <laughs> if everyone used it, though, <laughs> I might actually make some money from it. Uh, Panda, the link, Korea. Uh, Post there is the affiliate link, my affiliate link, to uh, to the Toby Eye Tracker Five. I saw, by the way, one of my heroes out there, uh, Jimmy Broadband. If you know him, he does a lot of racing games. Uh, he is also now a affiliate uh, with Toby, uh, which I think is awesome. Uh, so. Um, I'm very proud to say that there's me and there's Jimmy Broadbent. <laughs> there are others as well, but of course, but um, I was very happy to see that Jimmy Broadbent uh, is now one of the Toby R Tracker 5 users and affiliates out there. Uh, Eggman, that's a good question. Collaboration with Promods on the next version of um, Promods might happen i guess it depends on um, how pro mods want to run it i mean uh, they gave me and a lot of other people early access to pro mods to 49 sorry 2.50 uh, but not 2.51 because 2.51 didn't include a lot of news it did include some news but we didn't get early access to it in the same way as we did with 2.50 so they might do it with 2.52 or with 2.53, but I can't really say which versions they will do it for. The damage, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, there it is. 3% to the truck, 17% to the trailer, that is bad. 3% uh, to the cargo. I do not play Formula 1 2020 low. Um, I have a very old steering wheel. I'm trying to take very good care of it. So for among other reasons, for that reason I'm taking very good care of it. I'm not playing any racing games really. I play a little bit of a, a set of Corsa from time to time. But the other problem I have is that I'm, despite looking this young, I'm, I'm actually almost 50, believe it or not. So. My reflexes aren't the same anymore. I gave up on on racing games ten years ago. Uh, 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 um, I'm on Eastern Express eleven point. Save that to the end of this live stream today, where we're gonna go through the. Um, load order for this combo. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm fine with you posting the AI crash on this call though. 
I can't be blamed for that one at least. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's still only 3% to the cargo from yesterday's train crash. So I'm, I kind of hope we can keep it to only 3% to the cargo. Of course, the truck will have more and more because of the uh, tire wear. And also because of the... I guess we got 1% or something like that from the uh, close call we had earlier. Vince, Matty Gamer made a North Korea map. Do you have a link or something to that? I would very much like to see that. Uh, Mr. Swede, what do you mean trucky app? Uh, do you mean truckbook? I do use truckbook. And lucky me, even today, remember to start ETS2 from truckbook. But I don't know what trucky app is. Yeah, Mike, the reason I've been taking so good care of my Logitech G25 is because I just love the shifter and the 12 buttons I have on the shifter. As it is right now, a guy called Papa Bear is 3D printing an SKRS slash complete new shifter for me. And I'll have that shifter here in a month or two, hopefully. So that means that I won't be using the shifter I currently have, which also means that I'm no longer bound to using a Logitech G25 or G27, which is a better option than G25 if you want the shifter. Uh, I can use whatever wheel I want. So. I guess I will be looking into now a new steering wheel. Um, something that will allow me to use a proper trucking steering wheel as an add-on to that whatever uh, steering wheel I buy. Uh, I'm sorry to say, Panda, that there aren't really any games for phones that in my opinion at least comes even close to to Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, I have seen some videos by people who are using uh, a, a remote desktop app on, on a smartphone that allows them to actually play Euro Truck Sim. What they're actually doing is using a remote desktop to their PC so it's, it's not it's not something phenomenal. There are a lot of apps that can do that. But a, a proper game for Android? No, not in my book. So, it's time to weigh in again. Let's see where we end up this time. I think it was 84 or 83 kilos, yes, tons yesterday. Now it's back to 84 tons. So that's the total weight. Well, go on then. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Into traffic, hurry up. Um, yeah, if you look for ETS2 North, oh, I haven't actually Googled North Korea, I've only Googled South Korea, and I get that bloody adventure map every time. Maybe I should then just do as you say and Google <laughs> uh, North Korea then.
So it's only 7.30 in the evening, but it's getting close to where we should try to find somewhere to uh, stop for the night to get some sleep, perhaps. My internet speed, PD. Uh, I'm fortunate. <laughs> um, I have a gigabit connection. So I'm on fiber. So, um, and it's... Sure, it's expensive, but it's not a nightmare expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm fortunate we, here in Sweden, we have pretty fast internet connections, in the cities at least. Best thing SES have done in 2021 regarding traffic is adding the low boys into traffic. I love that so much. And I guess here in Bolotnos, Bolotno, uh, I guess we could pull over here. Yes, that'll work. And it's five in the morning, which is fine. Let's have a look at the map before we continue. So we still have another hour and I still hope we can make it to Omsk, perhaps a little bit past Omsk even uh, today. So again, for those of you who just joined us, thank you very much for being here. Uh, Vladivostok is where we started yesterday. We've done almost 8,000 kilometers so far in nine eight hours in eight hours eight thousand kilometers almost in eight hours uh, we are here we're gonna be somewhere around here when we end in an hour tomorrow hopefully we'll make it to moscow then on wednesday to calais on thursday that's new year's eve we will be on eaa and then before the end of the week hopefully we will reach moron Vladivostok is the Russian San Francisco? Really? <laughs> um... Honestly, a Iveco steering wheel isn't the first thing I will be looking for on Amazon. <laughs> Someone had a brilliant idea yesterday. Uh, tell me to buy a Zill wheel. And I totally love that idea because I love Zill, old Zill trucks. So getting a steering wheel for a... Uh, Sill 130 would be absolutely epic. Uh, other than that, I, I kind of want to go for a Scania wheel. Not the newer ones, probably a older one, simply because of the weight of the newer ones. Hi, Barry! I will do a giveaway of the 2080 Ti to my daughter. <laughs> uh, if I ever can afford buying a 3090. Uh, my daughter still have my old 1060 card. Um, so she's not complaining yet, but I know it's just a matter of time before she starts complaining. So, and in, rather than buying her a 3070, she can have my old 2080 when I, when I die, <laughs> when I buy a, a new graphics card. Miller time. Uh, cheers, buddy. Uh, I live in Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> A floor creeper Grand Prix. <laughs> there we will. That would be awesome. Hi, ETS2 truck channel. 
Pete, I'm sorry to say that my daughter do not play ETS2 or ATS even. I'm very sorry to say that my oldest is... Both my daughters are into games like um, Among Us, Fortnite, uh, and um, Roblox, uh, and other horrible, horrible, horrible games. No gaming, no, no racing games for them, unfortunately. Hi, SCR. I'm still on the Logitech G35. Well, it's middle time. Scandinavia is Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. So I do live in Scandinavia, but Scandinavia isn't a country. Um, so, uh, but I do live in Sweden. I live in Stockholm. What I mean by Roblox? Isn't it called Roblox? No, maybe it isn't. Isn't there a game called Roblox? I'm thinking about Minecraft, by the way. There is a Roblox, okay. In that case, she plays Roblox as well, because I've heard that word. There is a guy called Roblox as well, but I've heard her talking about Roblox. She wasn't talking about him. <laughs> As I said, Thanos, <laughs> unfortunately my kids play blah blah blah. <laughs> uh, Scandinavia DLC, there are parts of it that is very accurate. I, I like Stockholm in uh, ETS2. But of course, where's northern Sweden? Where is northern Norway? Where is northern Finland? Uh, Scandinavia DLC was kind of half of Scandinavia. Uh, many of the roads have changed. Uh, many of them have been replaced by proper highways, especially in Norway. <coughs> But, um, yeah, I, it's the parts of Norway that I don't really care that much about. What I do care about in Norway, especially, is is the um, western, uh, the, the coastline. Uh, and then and there I care about the, uh, the old uh, highways, the ones that people were using as highways back in the... 60s and 70s and 80s, they still exist, um, but are only used as local roads these days. They are narrow, they are twisty, and they are just wonderful, wonderful to drive on. Uh, my internet provider is called uh, uh, Comhem. Troll Stegen would be very nice to have. Uh, from what I understand, they will do what they did with both Viva Italia and Viva France and add more to Scandinavia DLC rather than release a Scandinavia DLC 2 or something like that. So hopefully over time we will have all of Norway and Sweden, possibly Finland as well. Net Cologne sounds like an aftershave. <laughs> well, there might be a lot of games inside of Roblox, but it's still Roblox, so I'm not going to play it. Hi, Star Pair. Uh, 
Uh, I think if that depends on what parts of, uh, of Russia they will add. I don't think we will have a lot of Russia up to, say, Murmansk, for instance. Uh, I, I, I wish we will have. Uh, but, I mean, just reaching Moscow, which I hope they will, um, without adding a lot of the northern parts or any of them, uh, as well as the southern parts, uh, is going to be massive. Regardless, I'm very, very sure it's going to be the biggest DLC they have ever released. Uh, summer talk. Yes, I'm still on Eastern Express. Uh, I hope we will be able to leave Eastern Express on Wednesday. <laughs> this is, after all, a 30,000 kilometer haul. Um, so Wednesday... Uh, I think we will, um, I kind of hope we will reach Moscow tomorrow and then on Wednesday be able to haul almost all the way down to Calais. So um, yeah, it's going to take a while. So if the rumors are correct, we will not have Moscow. Uh, we will only have northern, a, the European northern parts of Russia. It's, I'm not disappointed, absolutely not. But it's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> uh, this might look like the base game, but it's still EAA. No, I'm sorry, Eastern Express, EE. And if this looks like the uh, base map, I'm not going to say that's a good thing, considering the age of the parts we're holding on right now, and also because the size of this map mod is incredibly big. It is huge. So... Uh, I would be very satisfied if I had made Eastern Express as someone said it looked like the base map, to be honest. I do not like Among Us, PT. <laughs> well, Star Pair. Um, what can I say? <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of this until we reach uh, Moscow, at least. Hi, Richie. Uh, my day is going just brilliantly. Uh, very happy. Uh, wow, Korea, thank you very much for your 500 bits there. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, the older road textures could probably have been uh, fixed by using a graphics mod. Uh, but again, as I said yesterday, there is probably no graphics mods that works properly with this map mod. And uh, Snobbin, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Well, I can totally live with Far East, if that's what they're calling it. Uh, does that mean that Moscow, whatever DLC will include Moscow, will be called Middle East? Probably not. Thank you, Smiller Time. Uh, this is the third year in a row we're doing these long hauls, and I kind of like it. So this is going to be a tr this is officially now a tradition that I'll keep up once a year. We're going to try to do a haul longer than the year before. Uh, when we did this back in 2018, it was 19,500 kilometers, and that was kind of the longest you could make two years ago. Last year, we were able to complete a haul of 25, 26,000 kilometers, and this year, 30,000. Which kind of says a lot about how much the map mods have developed over the last few years.
Wait, what? We had the uh, NSFW billboard again? I completely missed that. Darn! I guess that means that hauling on the Eastern Express is like watching Red Tube. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, experience they are there is work on um, a uh, new Siberia map uh, which looks like it's going to be very very big once it's released and I'm really looking forward to seeing what that looks like but of course going into the taiga even uh, would be awesome as well you kind of can you can actually do that on the uh, harsh Russia Siberia map uh, but that is just a <laughs> kind of a nightmare to haul on because it's a one-to-one -one scale map uh, it is the biggest map ever created and you could probably literally spend a year in game without discovering a hundred percent of it it's also very weird to haul there, so I'm not a big fan of it, even though I, I think I hate to love it. Um, but it's not, it's not a streaming friendly map to haul on really because of its one-to-one -one scale. I mean, you could do a, a 500 kilometer haul and it would take you three hours to complete it. Not a lot of fun for everyone to watch, I think. Uh, please, no road connection to Harsh Russia, Siberia. It's not going to happen, but... <laughs> no! Not a road connection between a beautiful 1 to 19 scale map and a 1 to 1 scale map. That would look horrible. Uh, Xperia, I'm pretty sure that there will be Kamas trucks in ETS2 maybe sometime next year. For all we know, they are working on it right now. I would be honestly be very, very surprised if there is no Kamas trucks added to as the game by SES next year. Hi, Andreas from Switzerland. Uh, Bartolome, if you if you want a new staff, check out XPS new mods. There is a DAF for you. Uh, Mike, what's happening with Russian open spaces? It was updated for 139. That's always, literally always. It's just a compatibility update, but it has been updated for 139. And uh, on the 25th, I think it was, we had an update to um, from Sona as well. Uh, so it is available, but it doesn't look any better than it did on 137. Or 136 or 135. Hi, Mr. Tony. Um, so, but as I said earlier, I still enjoy using it, but I prefer to use it as a standalone. A Tatra plan. <laughs> I wish, I just wish they could add some of the old Russian Soviet era truck mods. That would be awesome. Yeah, the new torpedo daft there, it's, it looks absolutely fantastic. I haven't tried it out myself yet, because I'm kind of doing this right now. And also just playing around with, um, with uh, some map mods. Uh, but um, yeah, I haven't had time to test it yet. Uh, yes, PT, I did make a um, video on how to use... Um, 
Ross is a standalone map, so there is a uh, uh, video called Three Map Mods to Use that deserves a life as a standalone map or something like that that I've released. Uh, you'll find it there. Miller Time, thank you very much for subscribing uh, on Twitch. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Andreas! <laughs> No, we're not there yet. We still have 22,000 kilometers to go. <laughs> what? There's something wrong with you, Thanos. You want a moon walk on my head? <laughs> uh, thank you, Andreas. Uh, we should be reaching Moron, <laughs> which is the city we're going to in Venezuela. Uh, maybe uh, on Sunday already. Maybe. Whisper Terror! Thank you very much for following me on Twitch. UK paint. Oh, break, break, because they are not gonna break. UK paints DLC. Uh, no, what do they have? The flags, obviously. Uh, skyline of London? I don't remember. Uh, yes, absolutely, Mr. Tony. It's about time we have a look at the truck from the outside. So here it is, my RJL T730. Um, Richard, currently I'm using Greenland on... I've, I'm lazy, I guess. <laughs> I added it just above the Swedish islands. You could probably put it way further down in the list. Uh, but at least it loads there and it probably works just fine being put uh, just above Swedish islands. Excellent question. Uh, it's Miller Toy Man. <laughs> As Vesper and Korea said. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised I still have the transformer. Well, there's a reason I didn't go for the bridge this time. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I probably wouldn't have any problems hauling the bridge uh, through Eastern Express, but on EAA. Ugh. Hi, my young. Summer talking, Olaf. You're making me very curious. <laughs> um. Oh, that. If I like noodles with parmesan cheese, no, I don't. Pity. I find it very boring. <laughs> I'm more of a meat person. I need meat. If there's no meat in it, it's it's not food. Except for sushi. Do it twice a year, Vince? What do you mean? Uh, do these long hauls twice a year? I think once a year is more than enough. Uh, the cash I'll get for this trip is 1.1 million euros. Minus the um, damage. So we're currently probably looking at perhaps at best around 1 million. Um, hopefully still a million when we reach Moron. If I can just manage to keep at least one eye on the road all the time, we could quite possibly make a million when we reach Moron. 
but of course we will have to make it on time as well and we still have 316 hours until we reach our destination so could be could be I would totally love to do a longer convoy ducky the, the, the thing is ow Uh, you're very generous, it's Miller Time, and thank you very much. Yes, Twitch takes around 50% of whatever you donate on on uh, Twitch. YouTube does the same thing. And then I pay taxes on top of that, so I literally get to keep 25% of whatever is donated. Uh, that's just how it is for everyone. Um... I guess when I reach a million subscribers, I could probably keep a little bit more of it before taxes, but yeah, it, um, it looks great when someone gives you a <laughs> uh, hundred euros, uh, which have happened on one stream that I'll never forget. Uh, but it makes me kind of sad when I realize that, okay, I'm going to keep 25 of those. <laughs> um, but using PayPal, uh, well, at least I get to keep 50% of it. Uh, part 3 is still in Russia, Sorix. Yes, part 4 will also be in Russia. Part 5 will be in Russia. <laughs> um, but we might also make it into Europe in part 5. Definitely in part 6. Uh, there's my PayPal. Thank you, Korea. You're such a lifesaver, Korea. Uh, if you can do a longer haul than this one, Mr. Swede, uh, currently not really. Maybe you could stretch it to 31,000 kilometers. Um, let's, let's have a quick look at the map and, and just quickly talk about that. So I started in Vladivostok. Sure, I could probably have started in Rushki. That would have made a whole uh, 50 to 100 kilometers longer. That's nothing really. Uh, of course, I could have cheated and said, let's go by, uh, via Tekirdag. That would make, make the uh, whole longer, but I'm not doing it like the, that. Um, I removed all the ferries from Calais and from Europe to EAA and replaced it with one down here in San Gregorio. The reason I chose San Gregorio was that it already had a ferry connection. What I could have done, I guess, is to create a mod that adds a ferry connection to Ushuaia. That would have made the haul around a thousand kilometers longer than it is. But other than that, Maybe we could have fooled the game into going around here all the way down to Bogota. Maybe. It would probably have chosen this route instead. And so it wouldn't have been any longer if we go to Bogota. I don't think you can make it any further than to Moron, to be honest. So maybe, maybe with a lot of work, and especially regarding that ferry connection, maybe you could stretch it to 31,000 kilometers. Uh, but uh, uh, but you can't make it currently any longer than that. <coughs> and I guess I'm gonna have to say thank you very much, uh, Miller Time for your donation there. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very, very much. It didn't show up on the screen there. Um, it doesn't. Uh, Swedish taxes, well, mm, it is what it is. What can I do? It's really stupid, but... Um, I mean, that's Swedish law. 
even if you're not making a living out of this, even if this is for me literally only a hobby, I still have to pay taxes on on my hobby. Uh, and those taxes are added above the day job I have and the pay I have for my day job. So it is 50% taxes. That's just how it is. Uh, creating a route longer than 100,000 kilometers is going to take a while. Uh, it's totally doable, I guess, if we sometime in the future are able to combine ETS2 and ATS into one game, uh, which allows you to haul on both North America and Europe, including then EAA on top of that, and this map as well. Um, maybe when someone adds uh, Africa, but even then it's going to be difficult because the globe is like, what is it, 45,000 kilometers uh, around the equator. Uh, so it's going to be tricky making it a lot longer than it already is. I said maybe Africa, if, if someone makes Africa, Olaf. There are a couple of map mods in the works for Africa, but it's not in all of Africa. Uh, I know of three map mods which will add some parts of Africa, but it's going to take a very long time before we have all of it. Uh, Sorix, <clears throat> yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's possible to do something like that, but my rules for these long hauls is to just pick a starting point and then let the game show and a destination and then let the game itself choose which route to take i could add <clears throat> i could add different um uh, i could create my own road route but that feels like cheating uh, I could definitely make a route that is, say, 50,000 kilometers long. Um, if I added, um, uh, added it manually, but that wouldn't be a route that you would normally drive anyway, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Is Twitch currently behind YouTube? That's strange because Twitch was when we started like three seconds ahead of YouTube. Huh. Yeah, and I think the longest you can do on just EAA now is 15 or 16,000 kilometers. Uh, so in itself, EAA is making the routes very, very long. I think on Eastern Express, you can also do around 16,000 kilometers. Um, but that would take you up to Murmansk. And from Murmansk, you can't really go to anywhere. I think that what Africa really deserves is... Um, So, someone from uh, from uh, Holland uh, donated money on on, on um, PayPal, and now Miller Time did it. So again, thank you very much. Thank you very very much, Miller. And again to whoever the other guy is from the Netherlands. Maybe it was. No, I'm not going to say any names because I don't know who it was. Uh, thank you as well. Uh, Africa would need uh, probably some different uh, physics than we currently have. I mean, there's a lot of muddy, really, really muddy roads there. 
What happened here? Hmm. Well, I hope you all saw, uh, not Top Gear, they're not called Top Gear anymore. Clarkson and May and, uh, uh, they're not called Top Gear anymore, they're called, Jesus Christ, I'm old. Uh, it's called, whatever they're called in the, their show these days. <laughs> it's not Bottom Gear, either. <laughs> Grand Tour, thank you, Korea. Uh, they finally had their new special out uh, on the 18th, I think it was. Uh, to be honest, not as good as previous years, uh, but they were hauling on Madagascar and um, the roads there are not great. Um, but of course, hauling on, it's, it's basically not roads anyway, and you can't really use a truck with a low bed trailer like I'm doing now, but mm, the roads there are very much 100% mud in some places. And mud doesn't really work on ETS2, unfortunately. Wow, Andreas, you did 15,000 kilometers IRL in a truck. What kind of a insane haul is that? Where, where did you, from where to where? Uh, like Pete said, Andreas. From Switzerland to Russia, a special transport even? Awesome. Awesome. Andreas, I'm not worthy. Thank you for your service. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. Special transport from Switzerland to Russia. God is with us today. Ah. Oh. Gotta be pretty far into Russia if it's 15,000 kilometers, PD. Yeah, and um, there is a series of uh, world's danger most dangerous roads or something it's called. Um, they've done a lot of, uh, of documentaries, trucking in Africa, among other countries. And the struggles they have to get from A to B. I mean, we're, we're talking 300 kilometers. Yeah, it's going to take us about something between two weeks and, three mo uh, and a month to complete a whole 300 kilometers. Uh, not only because the roads are horrible, but also because corruption, they have to wait for like a week to get papers to go onto one road or um, there's a gas shortage, so they have to wait for gas and things like that. Ovoki, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, one German truck legend did I haul from Germany to Syria and Iraq. Uh, PT, there was a Norwegian uh, trucking company that did that on a regular basis from Norway uh, down to Iran, Iraq, uh, Middle East uh, back then in the 70s. Yeah, I'm not saying that all of Africa. Uh, is difficult to haul in. Uh, I do understand that there are developed countries in Africa too, but they wouldn't make a series about the most dangerous roads if it was highways. Ooh. Uh, Miller, I 
Well, uh, it wasn't that difficult to f see and it was you, so uh, I already knew, well, you posted it yourself there. I knew it was from you uh, when I saw Ed Miller, so, um, and thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Now, let's see, we still have another half an hour and should make it another 500 kilometers in those 30 minutes so we will be down to 21,000 kilometers uh, by the end of this stream rap game kent thank you very much for following me on twitch <laughs> and uh, thank you very much korea for keeping an eye out on that <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the uh, Norwegian company that did those long hauls back in the 70s. In any case, uh, yes, 799B, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. In any case, there is, by Scania actually, a series of YouTube videos on one of those hauls or the guys who did those hauls from Norway to, to the Middle East back in the 70s. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, there is a new version, Casper, of the Great Step uh, for 139. Do not use the 138 version, use the updated 139 version. Pavan HB, thank you very much for being here. See you tomorrow, I hope. We're going to start at 6 p.m. Central European time. I'm desperately trying to find Stevie Bear here. I can't see him. <laughs> uh, Stevie, if you're here, welcome. <laughs> I can't find you in the comments, Stevie. <laughs> Excellent, so I have Korea covering Twitch and Thanos covering YouTube. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, the company gamer Bob wasn't called Dubai Road Express Ban Banda uh, Christ I dedicated one of my long hauls to them not one of my long 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 hauls but uh, one from I think it was from Norway down to Middle East um, Dubai Abbas Express or something Bandar Abbas Express. Thank you very much, Valala. There we have it. There we have it, Bandar Abbas Express. So uh, Google or go on to YouTube and check out Bandar Abbas Express and you'll find a series by Scania on their hauls from Norway down to the Middle East. Brilliant work. So, um, and of course they had fantastic trucks. Loverboy808. <laughs> it was a brilliant drum machine back in the days in 808. Uh, maybe that's where you got your name from, Loverboy. Uh, thank you anyway for following me on Twitch. Miller time, or Ed. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your donation. Have a great evening. And hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow.
You got it from Scrim? I don't know what Scrim is. <laughs> but I'm also very old. <laughs> uh, jump through hoops? Uh, no, we don't have to jump anywhere to get to Eastern Express these days. And the hoops are on fire. <laughs> Another beautiful evening on Eastern Express. Look at that sunset. Awesome. If I have the game on max settings, uh, lover boy, um, kinda. Uh, I have it on max settings and then some. Uh, I'm using um, something called Nvidia Profile Inspector to to set the settings, the graphic settings. Uh, for instance, the. Um, the scaling is set to 100% in-game, uh, but I'm setting it to 400% using NPI instead. Uh, and then I'm changing a lot of other things using NPI. And if you go on YouTube and check out this live stream on YouTube instead, you'll find my video on those settings. So it, it's maxed out and then some. And Korea, the savior again, thank you very much for posting the link to, direct link even to my video on, I guess that's the direct link to my video on, on the graphic settings. Well, if you're not going to go maxed out settings on your laptop, lover boy, make sure that you check out the link in that video description to the web page where you find updated information about the settings that I'm using uh, because the settings are changing over time as new uh, NVIDIA drivers become available uh, and also as new settings are found. Uh, and on that side you'll also find settings that is suitable for uh, mid spec PCs, low spec PCs as well. The settings I'm using is for my RTX 2080 Ti, and since you're on a laptop, that's probably not going to work for you. You're, you're not going to stop, are you? No, you're not going to stop. Go on then. Well, never, never mind uh, what the files are called, because sometimes they make mistake, mistakes, Casper. Uh, there are map mods that are made for 139, and then they forget to change the manifest file or something like that. So, when you look at the mod, it still says 138, even though it might very well be 139. Uh, for a while there, I think there was a worse, a the latest version of of the map file was it for the Great Step. Of 139 actually said 136 <laughs> uh, never mind that things that happen sometimes I forget to change the manifest files that's just how it is yeah team I don't usually use any graphics mods the the only time I use graphics mods, it's probably during the winter, and then of course I use Grimes winter mods, and that's about it. Well, it's better to ask too much than ask too little, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, would I rather play ATS than ETS2? No, I still prefer ETS2, mainly because it's more mature when it comes to mods. There are tens of thousands of uh, mods for uh, for ETS2. There are only <laughs> thousands of mods for, for ATS. Uh, and you see that with map mods, you see that with uh, truck mods graphics mods, have all types of mods. So um, ETS2 is and will probably forever be my favorite game of the two. Your English is just fine, Mahjong. Like Korea said already. Uh, like we said yesterday too. <laughs> Oh, seriously? You're brake checking me, you bastard. Well, I have a Scania T730, so you can't compete. So it's almost 8 in the evening, I think we might skip this gas station and go for the... No, let's, let's do this one. Let's stop here. And let's refuel while we're here as well. I opted for large gas tanks, so these ones, I think it's a, it's definitely above 1,000 liters that goes into these gas tanks I have here, so we don't have to uh, refuel a lot, but if we're stopping, it's, I can just as well refuel too. Imagine forgetting to ga get gas. Uh, well, that has never happened. <laughs> I think that happened last year during the long haul. Actually, and we were, I think we were in um, around Calais and we were literally a hundred meters from the gas station when it happened. Almost made it. No, we're not going to be able to do... Oh, there it is! Look at that! Luckily though, you can teleport, so um, we were good. And the Genoa Bridge event that happened there too. <laughs> and the one time you really don't want that to happen is during the um, World of Truck events, because you can't teleport during those events. I should have, of course, when we stopped, showed you the map as well. And it looks like I was right. We will make it to Omsk. We will not make it to Kurgan, but maybe to Kalinsk or Abatsko, Ishim. You don't pronounce those names, none of them like that, but anyway. So um, we're still on target. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm so surprised that we're doing 
1,000 kilometers per hour here on Eastern Express. Uh, yeah, true that, PD. We are some four, five, six, maybe a thousand kilometers from Moscow still. So yeah, we are in the middle of Siberia. How fast we're going? Uh, somewhere between sixty and ninety for the most. I'm not known for speeding, so don't expect me to do more than 90. Um, I'm trying to not go to jail. I'm trying to stay away from jail, so... Oops. So you won't see me go much faster than this. Anywhere. But I still think that a thousand kilometers per hour is... is good enough. No, MVAMs, we're not gonna go faster. Because I wanna make it... to uh, Moron and get paid a little bit at least. So, um... I really don't feel like crashing into... Oh, that's a roundabout! See, if I've been going any faster than that, big accident. <laughs> Thanos, you've been around. You've been around for a bit. You should know better. I'm not gonna go faster. <laughs> yeah, that was close. And had I done more than 90 kilometers an hour. It would probably have been a crash, so um, I'm very glad <laughs> I'm not going faster than that. <laughs> uh, sure, Thanos, I will go faster than the 50 kilometers we're doing right now, but not a lot faster. And besides, we have 47 tons behind us, we're 84 tons in total, so it's it takes a while to stop this thing. I can't go insanely fast. <laughs> I'm not sure I should do that. Uh, Casper, because I have done my fair share of speeding too. I mean, we did a uh, haul through ATS with a, a a giant rocket for an engine. Hi, Mr. Semla. We are currently in Siberia. We have been in Siberia for nine hours now. And we still have another three hours or so in Siberia um, before we reach Moscow. Yeah, you know, it's strange, my young, but I have kind of the same problem when I'm hauling offline, when I'm not doing live streams. I sometimes struggle a lot too to keep awake, to stay awake. Uh, I never, never have that problem when I'm doing the live stream uh, but but uh, when I'm not when I'm just sitting here by myself sometimes it feels like I'm almost gonna fall asleep while I'm hauling hi gaming TV Welcome to you and welcome to everyone else who recently joined us. Thank you very much for being here. If you are enjoying the stream, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe on YouTube or why not subscribe on Twitch or, or at least follow me. <laughs> That's gotta be it, Summer Doc. Um, maybe I should 
even when I'm sitting here all by myself, just talk. <laughs> Pretending I'm online. Or live. <laughs> we got a new dislike M ramps because I'm going too slow. I'm just following the uh, the law here and that's not good enough for some people, I think. That sign say Homop FM. Maybe Homo means something different in Russian. What do I know? something about some something not a nice surprise in the future summer talk um, yeah I'm, um, I don't know if it's nice <laughs> perhaps you should talk to Stecko what do I know <laughs> yay we made it to Omsk fantastic uh, Yes, uh, my young, this is the paid version uh, of Eastern Express. There is a free version, I think, but that's for 132 or something. Hi, Jackports. Which reminds me, I need to check my emails afterwards, see if Samartok is agreeing that it's, that it's a nice <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't. Oops. Uh, Thanos, I think we've done 9,000 kilometers now. Yeah, 9,000 kilometers. Oh, only 21,000 more to go. That's actually one of the very few... <laughs> I can't point. Uh, that's one of the few signs I actually understand in Russian. That sign says airport. Airport. reason I know that is because we're close to an airport. Airport. Oh, look, there's an airport. Uh, yes, Jackport, I'm very much uh, playing with a steering wheel. I uh, can't imagine not playing with a steering wheel. And that sign says Happy New Year or something. Probably not. I have a Logitech G25. Currently. Well, MWAMS, as long as you don't try out a steering wheel maybe it's okay but once you go steering wheel it's kind of difficult imagining playing this game with anything else Ha <laughs> 
Oh, Richard, thank you. See that, guys? I was driving too fast. <laughs> you couldn't read the sign. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Pete, that's kind of the plan. Could be this one over here. Uh, but it, it, because it is kind of nine o'clock now, so um, we are getting close to the end of this live stream. I guess we could go a little bit further. Still a couple of minutes until it's nine o'clock. Uh, I don't know what Nasunya means, but reclama should mean um, ad, like a commercial ad. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know why. Most of the traffic is disappearing there, but hmm. Oh, Scania, I love you. Thank you very much. It's difficult to play with a steering wheel, Jackboard. No. The only time I kind of found it difficult to play with a steering wheel was I was moving uh, five years ago and so I couldn't find my steering wheel after moving and I still wanted to play and I couldn't wait so I went and bought the cheapest steering wheel I could find it cost me like 40 euros or something and that one only had a um, uh, 450 degree turn so that was difficult using when I was because I'm used to 900 degrees on my steering wheel so uh, but that's the only time I, I found it difficult to, to use the steering wheel and then we have laws here in Sweden that allows you to use the steering wheel in this case for 30 days then you uh, return it and get all your money back. Uh, so that was the plan and that was why I bought it. Uh, so I used it until I found my, uh, my G25 and then I returned it. But 450 degrees compared to 900 degrees turning on this one makes so much of a difference. The sign said outdoors advertising. Okay, that's... <laughs> this is an outdoor advertisement. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, it's nine o'clock. And with that, thank you very much for being here. No. <laughs> I'm going to continue for a couple of minutes more, if that's okay. If I can start a video series on how to stream correctly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, once I know how to stream correctly, I will do that. Um, I'm still learning. Uh, I was using Streamlabs OBS uh, up until six months ago. Uh, had huge problems with it. Um, then I switched to... Um, OBS Studio, and I should mention that I had used OBS Studio uh, before I started using Streamlabs OBS. I had no problems with Streamlabs OBS, it was working beautifully, and all of a sudden it became a huge problem using Streamlabs OBS. So I turned back to, uh, to OBS Studio, and now it's working again, and now I'm using um, Restream as well, but I'm, I'm still learning.
Uh, why people don't like when it's typed with caps? Because it's rude. It's like screaming. And I guess none of us like talking to people who are screaming. So, um, yeah, that's why we don't like it. <laughs> uh, oh, and I haven't forgotten. Before we end today, I will show you the load order of the map. Uh, never tried Gamecaster, but I do, I do recommend OBS Studio. It's working beautifully for me. The reason I wanted to change to uh, Streamlabs OBS instead was it have more features built in. But more features being built in also meant more problems or more potential problems. Uh, so, um, so now I'm using Streamlabs OBS again. Uh, Jack Port, thank you for being here! <laughs> and I hope to see you again tomorrow. We're going to start at 6 p.m. Central European time tomorrow. Same as today. Now let's see if we can find somewhere to park this thing. Um... Uh, and uh, then I'm going to show you the load order of these maps. And then we're going to end the live stream. There it is. 21,000 kilometers to go. Uh, Mexicano. I'm from Sweden. Stockholm. Stockholm, Sweden. And uh, let's see. Wow. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be more than a couple of minutes more of hauling before we stop. But uh, I'm okay with that if you're okay with that. And show you the version numbers as well. Yes. No real news about the legal issues, um, other than um, uh, no, nothing new right now. Um, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I mean, there are there are news, but the thing is, I need to um, I need to sleep on the news. The news are very promising, by all means, but um, yeah, I need to sleep on it. <laughs> uh, Critter twenty o two, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, but anyway, regarding the legal issues, there is nothing to worry about. That is one thing that is 100% sure, for sure. Um, the, I have nothing to worry about regarding map combos. Everything will be just fine. So uh, not a problem there. Uh, Angenent. No, not Angen, Angenent. Angenent. There's a Swedish word, word an Angenemt. That's not your name, Angenemt. Project Balkans is back, yes. And I've added it to my global map combo that I'm still working on. Uh, but um, there have already been posted by others map combos, which includes um, PB. So um, maybe you want to try that out. Uh, look at I'm gonna have a look at the map because it seems it feels like it's gonna take forever. It's not gonna take forever. There it is. 
there we have a gas station look at that so we're almost at a point where we can actually stop we land whatever that is Hi, Paul. Well, it wasn't much of a traffic jam, was it? <laughs> the bought version is better. Are we talking about Eastern Express, my young? This is the paid version. So it doesn't get better than this. Uh, oh god, it's Global Cargo Convoy tomorrow. That's absolutely correct, Paul. I had completely forgotten about it uh, because I've been focusing so much on this. Uh, I'm working tomorrow. Um, maybe. Jesus, maybe. Uh, I Honestly, I don't think I'll be able to make it because of day work, day job. Oh god. Um, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, lights out. Parked. Now, before we end, let's go through how you set this combo up. So, um, there's not a lot to it. Come on. Why so slow? Sometimes it takes forever. It feels like it's sometimes want to go through all the mods you have and it takes forever. So here it is. This is what I have. So base map by EAA, map by EAA, EAA no ferries mod. That's mine. And uh, I'm using 1.11.8 apparently. Uh, there's a link to this one as well as everything else in the um, video description on YouTube. Then we have Eastern Express 11.8, although that one is named 11.7. I don't. So it's 11.8 and apparently 11.7, doesn't matter. Uh, we have that tire file number 54321 RJL uh, truck and the cabin accessories, Sissel's Mega Pack and Wombat Edition, uh, Sissel Mega Pack customization. Uh, some private add-ons and um, what's that uh, that's the oh that's the skin I made I cheated <laughs> that's my skin <laughs> so I took someone else's skin and just uh, put mine in there instead of creating a brand new mod for it uh, sound fixes, uh, camera distance, so that I can scroll further, zoom further out when I'm hauling. Uh, Bang and Jay's background map, completely unnecessary on this. Uh, the crash, crash fix as well, because, well, I'm using two pretty big map mods here. So it's not the number of mods that is the problem. The problem is how much roads you have on the mods you're using. So we have to have the crash fix as well. Uh, and then I'm also using the full screen world map as well. Uh, no, it doesn't work with pro mods. So there you have it. That is the mods I'm using for this. And um, I guess that's the end of the live stream. There's not more, more to it. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and all of that stuff, you know. Otherwise, kittens will die, probably. And uh, we will continue again tomorrow, uh, doing another 3,000 kilometers of the, in total, 21,000 kilometers we still have left to do before we reach our destination. Um, 
Here's the map in case you forgot. This is where we are. This is where we started nine hours ago. Hopefully, I'm not too sure to be honest. I kind of want to reach Moscow tomorrow. We won't make it to Moscow, but I'm a dreamer. Maybe, maybe Moscow tomorrow. And maybe, maybe Calais on Wednesday. Uh, before going on to EAA and doing another uh, 15,000 kilometers or whatever it is up to Moron. Uh, there you have it. So uh, with that, thank you very much for being here, guys. Take care. Hopefully see every single one of you again tomorrow, 6 o'clock uh, Central European time. Till then, take care, everyone. Good night.